Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Agina Craft. This is a beautiful Saturday morning, and I have been away for the best of this week working in my shop. And my workshop looks like an eclectic child. So today I'm going to clean up, and today I'm gonna make some coasters for the man, the myth, the legend, Adam, who literally supports me every way humanly possible. And he just put an order in for some coasters through my web shop. And I haven't updated my web shop, so I have some out of stock items there, which means it's time to make them. So just look at the state of things. It's a mess. So every night I came home, I had to work on some epoxy to finish it off before I brought it to the shop. So the whole place looks like a fucking shithole. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, oh my God, debris, trash and junk everywhere. But anyway, uh, today we're gonna make some coasters and we're gonna, we're gonna make some special coasters for Adam. But, yeah, I have to clean up too. But first, uh, I think it's better if I just clean up this place here, prep everything for the coasters, and then try to tidy all the shit up. Or just go to the beach and have a swim. I'm not sure. Anyhow, uh... You know what? Let's let's try something different today. I could have this in a fucking t-shirt at this point. Let's try something different today. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do something fun. How is I rest it on the charger here and you can't see shit. Okay, we don't want that. Give me a second, give me a second. I, I promise you guys I have an idea, okay? Just Trust me, I'm an engineer and a college dropout by trade, so here we go. Okay, can you see my idiot face? I hope you do. All right, so actually, you can see my face, which makes me very, very happy. So I can talk and we can make things. I just have to tidy up a little. Oh, you know what? This is part of shop life too. Cleaning up, tidying up the whole mess you've been working on all week. And uh, some people love it, some people hate it. But it's also part of shop life, so when I, okay, I, I don't have my coffee this morning because it's extremely hot and uh, I just wanted to get this going and I didn't want to get the coffee machine going and hot coffee in the morning is just, uh, and I don't have ice and I can't make cold coffee right now and I, I I'm so, I, soda water um, yeah so let me just gather my thoughts so this morning I woke up and uh, I found that my mailbox email box is packed with messages from all of you guys on my on my uh, shop walk around video with all your best wishes and advice and tips on how to set up run a shop how to advertise how to place things um, railings and, and uh, insurance and uh, all of your experience running your own little shop and own little business 
and let me just tell you guys that I am I'm so grateful for you to go out of your way watch the entire thing and then think about your experience your own experience and leave me a valuable life lesson you have learned and give it to me for free of charge I think this is so invaluable and this is what makes us so great this is why we are human and this is this is why we evolved in civilization because we are sharing our knowledge and experiences and I just wanted to start the video out thank you for that okay um, yeah so thank you and if you're starting your own business or starting your shop check out my other video where I where I open the I opened the, the shop and we do a walk around do the comment section is gold everybody is just so insightful and helpful so before you open your shop hit that video take a look around ask questions of people who are in the chat who are in the chat chat comment section whatever you know talk okay um, now today's agenda is as I said cleaning up the shithole because Jesus Christ uh, everything is covered with sawdust epoxy and bad decisions um, anyhow uh, we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna start making a little coaster set for Adam I woke up this morning and uh, I got these comments and messages and uh, I got uh, I got my first ever order on my web shop and I was scared shitless because most of the shit I have on my web shop are either sold or out of date and I have to make them again which is fine which is fine I can do it and Adam ordered the first ever coaster set I ever made so Adam on post if I manage to pack it out very nicely and send it to you to Texas you will receive the first ever epoxy coasters I ever made right so it's gonna be that and also I'm gonna make you a fresh batch of round coasters right now on camera now and uh, also I got uh, a new supporter on buymeacoffee.com which is great uh, what you guys need to know is uh, I talked with Google I has I have spoken to the to the supervisor and he literally repeats a, a, a form email saying that they have gave me five more tries to identify myself so I need to provide a government ID a passport or a driver's license or a residency permit issued by the UK and I have none of those because I'm Hungarian and second of all I am an, an EU citizen with the with the perm uh, with the with the pre-settled status in Britain so I don't need or actually I cannot have a residency permit ID card therefore I am unable to identify myself on Google therefore I cannot get paid for anything this channel makes any advertisements anything anything and any, nothing so please don't support me here. Don't become a member. Don't give me supers because it, ne it will never reach me. However, if you really feel like you want to support me or, or help me out, you can always buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com or buy membership or support or whatever. I have a list of things there you can do. And uh, you can buy kibble for the puppy and help me out with some food and bills and all that jazz. So where I'm going with this is that I have a list of names I need to shout out. So my supporters on uh, buymeacoffee.com is Lisa, who moved from YouTube to buymeacoffee.com. 
Thank you very much for your support, Lisa. I read your message. I will answer it personally. Thank you very much for the help from New Zealand, and I love you dearly. Uh, Amanda, who is just being fucking awesome all the time, and she's from Unity by Nature. Check it out. Uh, Jen, who is also a great maker and a twisted person, just like I am, and she likes her horror. And she likes her creepy stuff. So she has a channel called Creepy Crafts. And she has like 500 followers. Please check out her channel. And if you like what she does, give her a sub. Because she really needs our help to kick things off. So, yeah. Let's help each other out, guys. Okay? We are a small community. But we can do great things together for each other. Because no one else is going to look out for each other. Or us. No one else is going to look out for us, so we should look out for each other. That went dark. Anyway, um, Marcy, 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 everybody knows Marcy. Marcy is everybody's grandma on this channel. She is a great person, she's a great maker, and well, I, can, I think I can speak for all of us. We love her dearly. And Marcy, thank you very much for being here with us. And of course, the fucking legend, Adam. And um, thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much for your support, your advice, your tips and comments. I just don't know what to say, bro. You are like, what's wrong with you? Anyway, thanks for helping and thanks for being here. And of course, Wendy. Wendy has been one of my first supporters. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank you again. In my previous video too, too before this, uh, I plugged her Instagram page. If I can find it or figure it out or don't forget it in the edit. Hey, editor me. Try to find that Instagram page and plug it here. Um, yep, that's my that's my buymeacoffee.com supporters. And let me tell you guys, with your support on buymeacoffee.com, I have managed to to pay my electric bill. And my water bill, which was outstanding for three months now. And everything you sent me, it was enough to pay off my outstanding electric bill and water bills. And uh, um, I would like to thank you for that. Seriously. Anyway, um, we need to get this thing going. Uh, yeah, I need to put away the angle grinder, the sander, the piece of paper. Nice piece of board. Okay. Uh, allergies. Okay, that's trash, that's trash. Sorry. Whoa! Don't die, please. Let me set this again. Yep. You don't have to see my face anyway. You see it enough. How was the intro? Clean up time. Let me set up and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side because it's already 10 minutes in and we have done nothing. All right, now I have the coasters prepared and they're nice and dry and prepped. So I will try to attempt <coughs> to remake those ocean wave coasters I made by accident. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. All right. So one thing about the shop, because I'm a one-man band and I have no idea what I'm doing, I brought all my power tools to the shop. Well, all my power tools, my one drill and my one screw gun. So because of that, I don't have a pedal to mix with. So yeah, you may join me while I'm mixing and talking to you. Um, 
this is a fan appreciation video whatever that means I still don't feel like I have fans I have friends I have like makers other creators and and uh, so much more uh, I feel you guys to be so much more closer to me than then I see it on on the YouTubers who do computer games and shit. Anyhow, that's a thought. So I'm gonna hand mix this, and this is basically medium viscosity resin. So it's not for jewel crafting; it's for uh, I think up to five centimeter thick pour. No. Up to two and a half. Anyway, I mix it until it becomes clear. Scrape the sides, as I heard it from the big guys. Scrape it, scrape it, and mix it, mix it. Um, I don't know what to say right now, so I will probably just cut this out. I have the color, it's gonna be turquoise, turquoise, Tur turquoise, the word I can't spell, leave it in the comment how to spell it, one day I might learn it, and I'm gonna do two, three, four, five drops, six, eh, it's six drops, I don't have the recipe for this because when I made this it was just a test, and then I put it on the shop and nobody bought it for five months. So I gave it to my friend as his birthday present. But I forgot to remove it from the shop. And my man, the legend from Texas, Adam, has said, you know what? I like this guy. I sent him some money on buymeacoffee.com and I will also buy some of his shit. And he purchased this. And I was like, yeah, this nice, huh? Oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I was freaked out and here we go. We are trying to remake this shit. Now, um, the blue one, I usually just pour it. Is it blue enough? <laughs> this is the point that I'm getting scared. Like, is this blue enough? Let's do a bit more. I'm so scared. I don't want to mess this up for Adam. Jeez Louise. Okay, this is so much darker. Not as dark as my soul, but hey, you got to start somewhere. Anyway, summer is here in Agina. And people are going swimming. And uh, late night. Oh my god, please. Fucking dripped it on the wood. Look what I've done. Okay, I'm not gonna send this to you. This is gonna be my own shit. Sorry. Okay, uh, pouring. So, summer is here. And uh, late night tavernas are open. So, basically, what Greek people do here is they work from early morning until about lunchtime. Then they go home or to a taverna and eat. And then they go back to work until 8, 9 p.m. Uh, they eat and then they rest. Okay, everything is closed until like 4 or 5 o'clock at night. Some people open up again at 6 p.m. So, yep, Greeks are resting in the afternoon. And they reopen their shop at 6 o'clock in the evening. And they work until 9, 10, depending on who's who. But after that, everybody heads to their favorite taverna. Which is kind of like a terraced pub where you can eat, drink and smoke and just chat out, you know. And uh, that's where you meet all your friends who, are, who were working all day. And you hang out 
until like one or two in the morning. Have a drink, eat, have dinner, you know. And then the musical instruments come out. <laughs> and people tr start to sing. And dance. Even in the big cities. It's somehow really wonderful. I never dance. But... Something, I know my limits, you know. I'm a good talker. I'm a smooth talker with them ladies. But God forbid I have to dance. So I get a pipe, pipette, or whatever it's called. And try to suck up some of the resin. And move it to the other one. So last night we went out to this taverna and I had I had a uh, what's it called um, carbonara and the carbonara was made with uh, pasta from Crete Island and they mix beetroot in their pasta and the other kind of pasta they make they make they they uh, mix olive leaves and uh, and spinach in their pasta please italians don't kill me okay it's also tasty and wifey had some octopus funny thing is it's cheaper to go out to the taverna and eat then literally cook at home, which is weird. But I think everybody got used to it, and that's why it happens like that. I think this is not the most efficient way to go about this. I shouldn't do that. I should not do that. I need to wear some gloves for this. Because now I will try to remove more epoxy than the pipette can. Come on. I want to move it around a little. I was a dummy. I should have done this another way. Premium gloves. The cheapest you can get. Alright, okay. This works. Okay, I think I have I just need to remove some
because I need some space for the white. Okay, let's just leave it at this at the moment. I took the roll paper into my shop. Yay. Oh, God. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay, now I am going to attempt to make the sea foam as I did it before. Okay, so when I previously attempted the sea foam, I accidentally made it. So I don't know what white I used. And I should have made a note, but it was just an experiment, as always. And I didn't make a video of it. So I'm trying to recreate it, or create something close to that. Because I want to make something really nice for Adam, my first ever customer. <laughs> and my supporter, and basically the guy, the man. Anyway, so I'm gonna suck up a little white. Like this much. And start mixing. I don't know how much white I should put in there, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's white. I don't want to put too much because last time when I did the ocean wave tray, I put too much white in it, and it sucked ass. So. I'm gonna put some alcohol in this. See, I stop. My dogs are here. But I don't know why. Anyways. Okay, I made so much white. <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay, um, and I think it's time I, I, I should do it, right? Oh my god, I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed, this is gonna be, somebody's paying money for this. I can't fuck it up. Oh, I'm so stressed. I wanna have it perfect. Okay, I cleaned the pipette, I'm sucking some resin up, and I will put it here, I guess, like so. Ah, this is so stressful. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh. 
Well, I have some more left, so I can always make more and try again. <coughs> okay, I have the white. I will use the sponge to suck up a little bit more from here. And from here. Oi! Camera stays. Alright, and now. <clears throat> I'm going to use the magic wand and go sensual on this. Uh, I'm so scared, guys, but I have to bite the bullet, get it out of the way, and make it happen. And it's not plugged in. Wow. Plug this thing in. 20 minutes in, oh wow. Anyway, let's get this going. Nope. This isn't doing what it has to do. Fuck. Hey, let's get the big gun out. I did something. Get a couple of specials because everything is flowing this way. I don't want that. Let's lift this corner up a little. <laughs> this didn't work out as I planned. I will manually mess with it a little. Maybe that fixes it. Oh. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna put some more right here. I put some more right here and a little more here okay and a tiny bit more here like that maybe a little more here Okay, um, I'm gonna hit it with a blowtorch. And now we wait for this to dry and then I will sand it flat and I will choose the six most beautiful ones, pack it up and send it to Adam to Texas. Thank you very much guys for watching and I hope you got something out of this video and uh, I see you guys in the next one. Bye.